Tesla CEO, this is one of the most talked about commodity in the world. One side of the story, it helps developing countries such as Indonesia performing standing out export performance because it gives income for the country and absorbs manpower. But on the other side of the story, the CPO land expansion had caused deforestation. And I try to elaborate some data about Indonesian CPO. And here it is, five countries as the biggest of Indonesia's CPO. The first one, we got to go to uh, Pakistan. The number of, of value uh, imported or, or number of value of uh, CPO that had been imported from Indonesia is reaching 2.48 million tons. And talking about uh, Pakistan, the market share of palm products in Pakistan mostly come from Indonesia by 80%. This one, as the result of diplomacy and bilateral cooperation through Indonesia and Pakistan Presidential Trade Agreement. From Pakistan, we got to go to Africa. The total value of um, CPO that had been imported from Indonesia had reached 2.58 million tons from Africa. Of course, we got to go to China. This is the uh, third country that import a lot of CPO from Indonesia. The number of uh, CPO that had been imported from Indonesia was 4.45 uh, 41 million tons. The growth of palm um, imports in China was driven by a reduction in the supply of soybeans by China from America as an effect of the two giant countries trade war. Was uh, what is interesting that China import biodiesel from Indonesia rose significantly. The total volume of biodiesel imported uh, by China from Indonesia in period May until October 2019 has reached 637.35 thousand tons. And then after China, we have um, European. Uh, with the total of the uh, value imported CPO from Indonesia reaching 4.78 million tons. And after um, European, we're going to go to India with the total value of the um, imported CPO from Indonesia had reached 6.71 million tons. As it is known, Indonesia, India implemented import duty for Indonesia CPO and Ministry of Trade had uh, done some lobbies. As a result, India decreasing the import duty from 44% uh, to 40%. And right now, we're going to go to the big six company that, you know, have a very large number of exporting CPO from Indonesia. The first one, we're going to go to Astra, the number of value or the value of the export of the CPO. Uh, had reached uh, 325 million US dollar and next one is Permata Hijau with the number of the uh, imported CPO to um, you know exp um, the, the uh, countries uh, uh, outside Indonesia had reached 497 million ASEAN Agri after that we've got Sinarmas Group Musimmas and the largest one is Wilman Group Wilman Wilmar Group with the total value of the export of CPO from Indonesia reaching 2,092 million. And uh, the European Union plans to approve a draft of policy entitled delegated regulation supplementing the directive of the EU Renewable Energy Directive 2 or RED 2 submitted by the European Commission on 13 March 2019. If this regulation applied, the European Union will ban the use of palm based biofuels. The policy is set to threaten the sale of palm oil to the blue continent which has been the main market one of the main market for palm oil reacting to this these are some reactions towards the plan the first one we have the um, you know reaction from the um, vice president of uh, Indonesia Yusuf Kala if Indonesia palm oil is boycotted of course Indonesia can also do the same thing too we can apply retaliation we will stop importing products from European Union and it is uh, known that Indonesia requires around 2,500 a320 aircrafts in the next 20 years the value of this agreement is worth more than 40 billion US dollar and can create 250 million jobs in the US and the EU uh, Indonesia also imports Scania bus and trucks from the European Union and it is considering the purchase of uh, trains from Poland so um, Indonesia actually uh, is the um, main or important trading partner for the uh, EU. And then the next one, this is another reaction towards the um, 
so-called discrimination towards Indonesian CPO coming from cha the chairman of the Indonesian Palm Oil Association, Joko uh, Supriyono. He said that it is so simple. If European Union doesn't want to import 5 million tons Indonesian CPO, meaning we have um, an extra 5 million tons, and we're going to uh, uh, transfer this access to other markets. As addition, Joko Supriono said, uh, if the reason of European Union banning Indonesia's CPO because we are not fulfilling sustainability requirements, it was already fulfilled, he said. This was proven so far. European absorbed 5 million tons CPO from Indonesia. This means they have approved that Indonesia's palm oil is sustainable. And the next one, uh, the reaction towards the uh, banning of um, CPO, we have um, Prime Minister of Malaysia, he said that if they continue to take action against us, we are considering to buy planes from China or other countries, not from EU. Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad considering possibility to um, you know, cancel the purchase of plants from the European Union if they continue to apply the palm oil product discrimination. Malaysia can purchase plants from China and Russia. And talking about the productivity of CPO from Indonesia and Malaysia, as it is known, Indonesia and Malaysia are the two biggest palm oil producers in the world. CPO production of Indonesia in 2018 had reached 43 million tons, which is this is the highest production compared to 2017. And meanwhile, Malaysia had produced 28 million tons in 2018 of CPO. And once again, this is our, the two biggest uh, player of CPO in the world. Anyway, that's it for the uh, information for today.